The Amazing Channel, Biology, Presence, Letting the Cat Come to You. Hey fellow cat lovers, are you ever unsure about the best way to pet your furry friend? Well, you're not alone. Let's dive into the art of petting your cat the right way. First things first, let the cat come to you. Extend a hand or a finger and give your cat the chance to sniff it. This is their way of getting comfortable with you. If they seem disinterested or just stare suspiciously, it might not be the best time for cuddles. But if they sniff your hand, meow, or even rub against it, that's your green light. Go ahead and gently touch their body with the open palm of your hand. Next up, watch for the head bump. When a cat bumps their head into your hand, it's their adorable way of asking for attention. Even if you're busy, try to give them a little pet to acknowledge their gesture. Now, if your cat jumps into your lap and settles down, that's an invitation. See if they fidget. If not, you're clear to gently stroke their spine. Remember, if they're lying on their side, that's an optimal petting position. Just avoid the belly. Trust me on this one. Understanding your cat's communication is key. Purring, for example, is a big indicator of their mood. A soft purr means contentment, a loud purr means they're really happy. But be cautious, an excessively loud purr can quickly turn to annoyance. Lastly, it's crucial to know when to stop. Cats will let you know if they're getting overstimulated. Watch for signs like flattened ears, a twitching tail, or growling. If you notice these, it's time to give your cat some space. Remember, every cat is unique, and getting to know your cat's preferences and signals can make your bonding time a joy for both of you. So take your time, be patient, and enjoy the purrs and affection that come with mastering the art of petting your cat right. Thanks for tuning in, and don't forget to treat your cat with the love and respect they deserve. Happy petting.